everybody, it's me, the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, and welcome to another night of Twisted Stitches. It's been quite a day. Actually, it's been quite a week, and I hope that you had a fabulous week. Um, as we just had some technical issues here, so forgive us for starting a minute or two late. Um, you never know, and my husband always says technology works 70% of the time, and uh, I think we're pretty lucky considering so many shows that this is the first we're here we're ready to go and um welcome again so i just want to give you a little bit of a, a recap of the week we've had a pretty interesting week here at nitty gritty yarn girl our um our most popular items continue to be the um the papillon shawl and the twisted stitches shawl with the 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 new uh, silver leaf running right behind there so uh, we've got some great things and here's a little interesting twist to Twisted Stitches. This week we had uh, some, some folks who've been really interested in our um, in our impware bags. I don't know if you're familiar with the impware. You can go on and take a look at them. These are really great little bags. They come in so many different sizes. They're fully washable. You can see the insides are lined um, with a washable fabric so you can wipe them down. And they come in all different sizes. I love to, you know, these little ones, I call these my sock project bags because they're perfect for just that yarn and uh, and some socks I have. But uh, those are really interesting. Um, a, a new item this week that's been a little bit more popular than in the past. And also, I can tell you that some mommy is going to be very excited come Mother's Day when she gets her knittable arrangement. Uh, it's all wrapped up and ready to go. Uh, as we've talked about knittable arrangements before, uh, they're all custom ordered depending on uh, you know what what your recipient likes to knit what she does or he does with the things the items that he, they knit and um so every time we make a knittable arrangement it's all custom so go on our website look at knittable arrangements and learn more about how these arrangements might fit into your mother's day gift giving birthdays etc so I'll put, you know, put that aside for a moment. And um, moving forward, we are very fortunate enough, uh, uh, fortunate tonight to have with us Whitney Terrell. Uh, Whitney is a representative from Euro, Euro Yarns, and she's with us tonight to talk about Mir the Mirasol brand. Mirasol is not just a brand of yarn, but it's kind of an initiative um, out in Peru and really the best person to tell you more about that would be Whitney. So Whitney, are you here with us? I sure am. Hi, Paulette, how are you tonight? I'm doing great, thanks. Thank you so much for being with us and Gosh, for taking for the time out on. of your busy day. Oh, I'm glad to be a part of what you got going on and always happy to have the opportunity to talk about yarn. <laughs> now you're a knitter as well, right? I am. Yeah, I am. yeah. What, what's your favorite thing to knit? I am a big time sweater knitter. Um, I, oh, that's great. It's, yeah, I just figured, I read a book by Stephanie Pearl McPhee a while back and at some point in the book, she mentioned that knitting a pair of socks was the exact same number of stitches as knitting a worsted weight sweater. And from that point on, I was like, <laughs> I'm only gonna put my stitches where people can see them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never quite thought of it that way, but that's a that's a good way to look it at it. It was a real seems to be this. Go ahead. A real aha for me. <laughs> yeah, I I would think there seems to be this movement away from sweaters and into shawls and wraps and things, and and uh, so it's nice to see that there is there's still a a, feta, a fellow sweater knitter out there. Oh yeah, yeah. So would you share with us a little bit about the Mirasol brand and the whole initiative that's happening with Mirasol? Absolutely. Well, Mirasol is a really fantastic uh, product lineup. It all comes out of South America and it's uh, made in partnership um, between Euro Yarns, Knitting Fever and uh, the Mitchell uh, Mill who puts together the, the line along with us. Um, it features, uh, South American fibers, lots of alpaca, lots of llama, gorgeous silks and um, bamboo viscoses all blended together with really fantastic um, Peruvian wools 
making a really gorgeously luxurious line and it all goes to support a school project in the Puno region of Peru and the school itself uh, is designed to build up the community. Um, it's a five day a week school, a boarding program where the kids are able to learn a lot more because they're in a, in a school as opposed to being um, just at home and just focusing on their families, you know, hurting business or something like that. They're really um, getting to experience a broader range of topics and, and we're really happy to be a part of that. And, you know, education is, is the cornerstone to a lot of growth for, for people. So we're happy to be a part of that. And this, so the, the, the project, uh supports the children of the farmers? Yes, specifically the herders and any the other children in the region. And there are other, you know, the fine knitting yarns are just a part of that program. So we, uh, we support that school. And then there are other donate, uh, donors that support the school project as well. So it's a bigger community project. Um, the Marisol Yarns is just one, one key part of it. Wow, well, it's, it's nice to be a part of that because, yes. you know, Every time someone purchases yarn to make whatever it is they're going to be working on, they're helping to support that project. And that's really Absolutely. very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, so now you mentioned that um, this is a lot of, there's a lot of alpaca in the yarns that we're looking at. Yes. Or the Mirasol brand. In the brand specifically, uh, there's alpaca in several of the yarns that we're looking at tonight. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of alpaca and even some llama, some really gorgeous llama. Cool, cool. So, you know, I you might have all noticed um, there was, um, I started sneak peek this week, uh, posting my my Paracas shawl. And I'm gonna show you a picture of the Paracas shawl. And uh, hey, Paul, do you know if Andrea happens to be on the, on the call tonight? No, but Jeff Gill says hi, Marisol Yarn says hello, and Anna Maria says hi, Paulette Meyer. Hi there, hi everyone. The reason I'm asking if Andrea is on the call tonight um, is because I, 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 do, I do knitting retreats. We hold knitting retreats here um, at Knitting Gritty Yarn Girl. And at one of my retreats, a, a dear friend of mine who I had no idea knitted, she must have knitted in her early days, came to the retreat and she, you know, she worked on her project. And when she was on my bus, I have a mobile shop, she was on the bus and she saw my mirror, saw my Paracas shawl. And she went home with that shawl. She purchased it. And when I, she asked if I would sell it to her, I said, you know, I really don't sell my, I really don't sell my samples because then I have to make another one and I'll be looking for it someday. And guess what? I was looking for it. And when I posted the picture of the, of the project online, that's when I discovered where my where my Paraka shawl was. So I have a lovely photo to show you, and there's a photo online. But this has been um, a very very popular shawl, and I just love it because of the detail in the the little openings in there. Um, the and you know people get a little concerned when they see a project like this. They go, Oh my gosh, it's really hard. If you can cast off and you can cast on, you can make these little circles. It's really it's not that difficult. So keep that in mind when you're looking at uh, the Paracas shawl. Um, Whitney, is there anything you can share with us about this one? So this is a sample that I have seen so many times and it is so incredibly popular. Number one, it's made with Nuna yarn, which is this gorgeous bamboo, silk and wool blend. And it has this gorgeous luster. So it's just, it's super, super beautiful. and. I think what makes the Paracas shawl really special is those keyhole kind of openings. That's how I refer to those bound off yeah. and cast on stitches. So those ha happen in several sections along the project. So it gives you a bunch of different ways to style it. Cause those keyholes are big enough for you to pull the skinny end of the shawl through. And it's, right. I mean, it feels great. Like you can wrap it multiple times and be, you know, really snuggled up or you can kind of, pull it down over your shoulders and let it drape a little bit more and it's it has a lot of really elegant looks so it's a very multifaceted project i haven't i haven't thought about pulling the the narrow end through the keyhole and i'm sure that the folks who have uh, who have knitted this and who are watching uh, will will take that great advice too uh, and it's you know what i like about this shawl too is it's a great warm weather shawl even though yes. it's made with wool mm-hmm 
you know so it's nice and and the and the yarn is nice and soft you know and i you know the thing people do is this when they you know when they when they look at yarn they touch yarn they always have to touch it and feel how soft is it and if you want something that's really soft and has a beautiful drape nuna is definitely uh one of those yarns this is another project with nuna right here and uh we have to move we have to move our mannequin because of our technology issues but this little tee is really cute this one is constructed in such a cool way because it's knit in one piece which I didn't realize until I, you know, was taking a closer look at the pattern support. This is a perfect warm weather garment. You have it shown layered, which is really beautiful, but you could put this, you know, over that button down, you could wear it under a blazer. You could wear it with just a tank underneath it. And it's very breathable I and light and so gorgeous. It's really, and I didn't realize that it's constructed in one piece either, you know, usually, those one piece sweaters are more, much more boxy. Right, this one, you know, it, the ribbing really gives it that like close in, like nipped waist shape. And then at the underarm, yep. you're casting on more stitches, um, which is nice because it lets that lace panel be universal across the front of your garment. So it gives you a really, really flattering look, makes that line really pretty. Cool. Yeah, very, very pretty. And I love the color that they worked it in for the sample. But any of the colors that I happen to pull out some of the brights, there are some really nice soft tones as well, you know. And, and that's another thing about the Marisol yarns. They're so colorful. Yes. And uh, let's see. So so moving along, I'm not going to go in any particular order. But uh, this one, this is a shawl that I was wearing on on the uh, one of the videos that I made, and someone complimented it. It's this is really beautiful. Now this one is constructed from. Um, oops, see which one is that? That's uh -oh. the Reese shawl. Right, that's the Reese shawl, and the yarn is Chi Chi. Oh my gosh, yes, I love Chi Chi is brand new for us. It's just kind of rolling out into stores. Um, it is a. Uh, alpaca linen and bamboo viscose tweed which you're probably thinking oh my goodness that's a really interesting blend of yarns it has a drape um, unlike any other uh, for a linen and it is really really gorgeous um, we did these really soft sort of muted almost sorbet type colors um, for this yarn it's beautiful so you know for those of us who have that deep love of tweed and that kind of organic feel in yarn this um, i love this i love this feel this is a fabulous yarn and it holds up so beautifully yes i mean this pattern is is great but you can just you can tell that it's going to have some really nice body to your piece when, mm -hmm. whatever you make with really very very pretty and so this uh, this shawl for those of you who asked about it because i did get several questions on it uses four skeins of the chi chi and um and that'll be on the website later tonight i just haven't had a chance to get them get everything up there but this shawl in particular you will find um on the website tonight as a kit when in the great colors that you'll find in the chi chi yarns so um so that's that one. Oh, and going back to nuna I almost wore this instead tonight of the of the one that I'm wearing. This is a really pretty scarf and tank. And this one is a little sleeveless tank. It's got some pretty eyelet work on the bottom. And then the scarf to match. Very simple. Again, nice for you know summer evenings. And I love the fringe on it. Let me pick that up. Also, you don't have to lean over. I have the best cameraman in the world, by the way. Very patient with my with all my work. So um, that's a little tea. Was there something in particular um, that you wanted to talk about in your list of, of uh, items there? You know, there's in Nuna, you should have a cardigan with... Um, some, it has like a different color edging. I this think that's one? a really beautiful garment. Mm, is that one Nuna? I do believe this is Nuna. Uh, I'm going to have to search. It's on this, excuse me? Yeah, I think, oh, no. I think it is. I think it is. Um, 
I love how all the colors kind of play together across yeah. these palettes. They're very Peruvian, very rich and jewel toned, sort of, you know, jewelry, spicy kind of colors. I think this yep. is such a fun way to play with color um, and really incorporate, you know, interesting aspects into your wardrobe. And then under this, oh, here, let me, I'm, I'm just going to spin her around since she doesn't spin on her own. And there's the back of the sweater. Really pretty. It's a nice soft ribbing, a pretty design in there. Mm -hmm. And um, our lady can take off her jacket and show this gorgeous tee that's under here, which I just absolutely love. And this one is the is this one made with silk legato? Is that? I'm not sure what that tank is, but I just love the way it falls off the shoulder. You know, the Field designs style. in Marisol tend to be really elegant. You can really dress them up um, and kind of take them out for a night on the town, which is great. Yeah, can't you see that with a pretty, a pretty bulky necklace? You know, with some blacks and colors in there to really mm -hmm. pop it for an evening out. That's it's really great. One of my favorites in the Mirasol patterns that we have here is this lovely little cape. And, and you know, it just reminds me when, you, when we talk about the region of Peru and, and uh, the, you know, the Peruvian people, this reminds me of that whole uh, movement of people, the, 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 the colors yes, and all that, really very, very pretty. Absolutely. This sort of takes on all those um really bright colors that you see in the woven textiles uh that come out of peru and in this particular piece this is a real attention grabber that yellow is really really bright but the way the purple and the red are incorporated into it it it, it kind of okay. elevates it which is really fantastic and the thing i like about these patterns is that they lend themselves to being um real like a, a canvas, so to speak, for you to kind of play with your favorites um, all together. Right. So you can, you can really do a lot with that. Right, right. And so this, um, and actually this pattern comes with, with this pattern support has three different patterns on it. Mm -hmm. And so there's, there's lots of, so you can, um, you can make the cape with three skeins uh, one skein of each color. Yep. So that's really not bad at all. And, no. and you'll, you know, it's, it's very, very pretty. And again, I just love the texture of all these yarns. And then, um, so we've gone through a few of the, of the different yarns. There's one we haven't touched yet. And that is the Pima Kuri. Yes. Which is their uh, cotton. And one of the, one of the samples that we have that really shows how the stitch definition and how this cotton holds up is this cute little waistcoat. Just look how beautiful that cotton holds in that yarn, in that pattern. This is a really special cotton. Pima Kori, um is a multi-ply cotton. Uh, we have it rated as a DK weight, um, which is really fantastic. Uh, you could very easily knit it a little bit looser. And the nice thing about this, as opposed to being superbly heavy um, the way cottons can be at a worsted weight or DK weight. This one, because it's a multi-ply, multi-two-ply actually, it holds its shape really well. It doesn't grow throughout the day, um, and it, but it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. And yes, it is. And I, I love the colors that this is done in. And then um, another piece that you, you might have to fight with me to get this one back is this blanket. Isn't that I, great? I just love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that. It's called the Anthem Blanket. And I, I think it's a really fun take on chevrons. They're kind of like, a, they're a little flat at the top. Um, yeah. But a four color project. Um, and there's a really, there's a cool pillow that has some buttons uh, that go along with it. This really speaks to the multifunction of this yarn. It's durable enough for your home deck projects, but it's great that little waistcoat is designed for um, a little boy. We have a lot of adult garments that also support that yarn. And it's, it's just a really nice workhorse yarn um, that has a lot of 
great sturdy qualities. So there's a lot of versatility in the different yarns uh, in the Mirasol brand. Absolutely. For a brand that's, it's been, you know, really synonymous with luxury fibers like the alpaca and the silk and the llama. Um, but it does have a lot of really nice workhorse, like across the range um, of your knitting uh, fibers. And I think that's important because when you can feel good about what you're knitting and enjoy the feel of it in your hands, it's like, it's a twofold gift. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Isn't that the truth? You know, when you're working with something, um, that if you you're enjoying the project for so many reasons, you know, yes. for me, when I, when I'm knitting a project, it's like, it's like uh, putting together a crossword, I mean, a, a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Cause I watch, you know, I watch this one little piece grow into an, a section and then another, another area. And before you know it, you're starting to see this whole puzzle come into, in, into reality. <laughs> And you, you know, you watch your piece grow, whether it's stripes or eyelets, lace and whatever it is, cables. I love watching cables happen yes. because they're just so, you know, as you go along with them and, and the different design work. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and I'm really enjoying the Mirasol brand and uh, working with folks on it. Um, and we have this, you know, little variety of, oops, of colors that you can see. This is a, some of the, the Sulca Legato here. And oh my God, it's just really luscious. Very, very pretty. And look at the colors. You know, of course there's a full variety, but these are just some of the ones that I had pulled for tonight. And then in the Pima, the, um, the Pima Kuri. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And you know, all yep. the palettes are really broad in these collections, which is great because it gives you that opportunity to again, really play with color, really develop your sense of color. And uh, they all, because they're in such a gorgeous range, it's fun to kind of make new, um, new palettes to work with. Right, and one of the things that we do here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl is um, we help our, help our, uh, our shop, like there was, um, if you go on my web, on our website, you'll see um, a blog post that, that's titled Beyond the Skein. You know, sometimes people have a hard time picturing. Oh, or, or, or I really love that yarn, but oh my gosh, what can I make with it? So um, we, we do a lot of helping with that by putting together different color combinations. For example, with the Caracas shawl, you'll see on the website, there are four different <clears throat> color, what we call base uh, colors, so that you can choose what you'd like rather than the, so for example, and I'll just pull, you know, you'll see something like this for one combination, and then you'll see the bright reds and butternuts and, you know, and purples in another. So it's, it's all just depends on what people like. And as you say, playing with that color mm -hmm. is really, you know, is something that you challenge yourself every now and then it, it, it's, it's, um, but we help you along a little and keep in mind that when you're, when you're working with us, we're always here. We're, we're like, we're a yarn shop and a larger and in an online yarn company so if you have questions i got a phone call the other night from from someone at 10 o'clock at night actually it was an email and i'm thinking well if she's emailing me with questions i'm just going to call her rather than go back and forth at, in emails because they take so long that way and right. she said oh my gosh you're open at 10 o'clock at night and it's a, this is 2020 we're open 24 hours a day. If I'm awake. <laughs> I'm answering the phone. And so we're here to help. And that's, that's what this, this is all about today. It's not just, it's not just be, it's not just selling yarn. It's helping the customer create the best project and have the best experience they can. Absolutely. And um, Whitney, is there something you, you want to share? I want to show the folks something, but I want, if there's something that you wanted to share, I would love to have you share that now. <laughs> Oh gosh. <laughs> no, I didn't sure. want to put you on the spot, but I didn't know if, if I had cut you off. Cause I no, wanted not to at show... all. Not at all. Okay. I wanted to show the folks who are talking about going beyond the skein and, and helping with projects. And another, um, 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a second and talk about another one brands that that um, that you are familiar with, and that's the Our Kenya. And yes, <laughs> uh, we we're talking about the cottons in the in the uh, peachy. This is a this is a well that's got more linen in it. This is a um, a combination. This is a hundred percent cotton. And one of the things that I recently did with that was because you know sometimes you see you see a pattern and you go mm, maybe I can do something else with it. So I created oh well, I, I didn't create the pattern. Don't get me wrong. Um, so I just finished a little shawl, and it's a you know it's what I like about the shawl is that it's a full semicircle so that when oh you my wear it it's, it's going to stay on your shoulders i love that oh <laughs> that huasco <laughs> cotton looks so beautiful you know isn't it and i love i love it oh love i it. love that's the rock side i love it so much you guys if you have the opportunity to work with the Huasco cotton did you just love it it is so it has such a fantastic hand Oh my gosh, it's oh, a dream. It's, great. it's a it's dream really yarn. Great. Like and <sighs> this is this I tell you, this pattern makes you think. It, you know, <laughs> it is it when once you get to the you know those eyelets, you're starting off with and I love when it says, you know, with I love this because we talked about um long tail cast ons last week and Joe <laughs> Long was laughing at me because I was demonstrating long tail cast on with like five stitches he said well you wouldn't do a long tail for five stitches but it was a demo but i think with this pattern is so cute because i'm almost sure it's this one that says using a long tail cast on and a 40 inch circular needle cast on three stitches <laughs> <laughs> like what <laughs> but, <laughs> hey you know what you do what the designer tells you to do but here's a little tip as far as that goes when i know i'm going to be working on a project that's going to be growing like this. Mm -hmm. What I do is I, I love my interchangeable needles yeah. and I will start with a smaller wire. Yes. And as the project grows, I will move it to a larger wire just so that's... that I'm not working with that twisty turning wire all the time, <laughs> trying to keep it. And, and, and the Likes are great because the wires don't twist on you, but you've got the big circle of, of, of wire and you've got 32 stitches on your needle. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so I just find it, that's one of the best things about interchange uh, interchangeable needles. You can start with a small wire and as your project grows, you can change the wire and just knit onto the larger wire each exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah, and this um, this winds up with more than 500 stitches at the end. And I can remember saying, uh, Paul, my husband said, my husband said to me, you know, can I talk to you now? Because he knows not to talk with me while I'm knitting and counting. And oh. I say to him, well, let me finish this row, except that the row has 500 stitches in it. It could be tomorrow afternoon by the time <laughs> I finish a couple of rows. But um, so, so, so this true. was a lot of fun to work on. And you'll, be, you'll be seeing this on the website. It's only two skeins. Oh, my gosh. See, the yardage so on that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This uh, the yardage on this is 481 yards. Can you even? It's and, so great. <laughs> yeah. So gains, but you know it's it's still a fabulous project, and it's you know it's it's affordable and beautiful Absolutely. when it's done. So you know that's just another another little piece and a little tip about the interchangeable needles when you're working with small starting off with a small number of stitches and growing that um that uh, so we're just out of time Whitney <laughs> I want to thank you so much for spending your Monday evening with us here at Oh my gosh stitches. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to, to be here. Thank you so much for including me. <laughs> oh, well, it was a lot of fun. We have a great time every Monday night. Come on and tune in with us. Speaking of that, next week on our show, we will have Susan Gibbs from <laughs> Juniper Moon Farms joining us. So be sure to tune in next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time to Facebook Live with the Knitting and Yarn Girl. 
and twisted stitches. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you then.